Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, I am so excited for this video. I have not done like a home reno video in a couple years. Actually, when I redid this bedroom, I did a whole like series on it. It was so much fun and I think you guys really enjoyed it. So we are going to be doing a little refresh to my bedroom. I'm going to be painting my desk painting my armoire. I have a lot of DIYs and some fun stuff going on in this video, so I hope you enjoy and let's just get into it. So first up, we're just gonna start painting. I'm gonna be painting my desk while my mom paints my armoire. We're doing this really nice green color. It's really similar to, I'm not sure if you guys know who Lone Fox is. If you're watching this, you probably do but he does interior design on his channel and he recently painted part of his room a green color and I picked one really similar to that. So let's just get into it and let's start painting. I have my painting clothes on already. I have this shirt. I've got <laughs> painting denim on, so let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting on my desk and my mom is gonna start with the armoire, but I wanted to hop on and let you know what color we're using and everything I have to paint. So I'm using the color Peter Green. It's by Sherman Williams. It's the Snap Dry Interior Exterior Acrylic Latex. I have it in a semi-gloss. Semi-gloss is usually the best for furniture because you don't want anything super flat because it will leave marks, fingerprints. It's just like not good for furniture. I'm gonna be rolling the top of the desk and then back brushing with these foam brushes. And then the legs, we'll see what I end up doing, but that's the plan. So I'm going to lay out my painting tarp and just get painting. So I'm gonna start off by sanding the desk a little bit. It's pretty glossy, so to make the paint stick a little bit better, I'm just gonna sand very lightly with a not very coarse piece of sandpaper. I'll dust it all off and then we will start painting. Since we are going to be rolling, my dad has a little hack to put a plastic bag over your rolling tray so that you don't have to clean it when you're done. So when you're done, you just take the bag, turn it around, and throw it away. So we're gonna get the paint in here. Ooh. Okay, so I am pretty much done with the desk. All I have left are these feet, but I've been waiting until the whole desk is done and then I'm gonna flip it over and then I'll just do the feet on their own. It'll be super easy, it'll maybe take two coats. This whole thing actually took three coats, which I was pretty surprised about because, I don't know, I just thought it was only gonna take two. It's still wet, so it looks tricky, but it's just it's just wet right now. My mom has been painting the armoire. It looks amazing. She has another coat on these, but the inside is all done. That's not a straight, that's light. Um, so yeah, it looks great. <laughs> I have a picture frame wall in my room as I'm sure you've seen in the video but a lot of the art in them are just like quotes of things that I liked when I was like 
I don't know, 18. But now I just want something a little bit more mature. So rather than having just like hashtag girl boss prints, I'm gonna make some cool art. So I have this canvas fabric, I have burlap fabric, and this fabric, and I'm gonna be basically just putting fabrics with different textures in the picture frames. So for the canvas one, I'm gonna be doing that in this big frame and just painting like a square on the canvas. <laughs> abstract. I'm going to be attempting some art on just this piece of cardstock. This fabric is actually like has some cool art on it so I'm just going to be cutting out this square on the bottom, putting on the frame, calling it a day, and then for the burlap I'm just going to put the burlap in this small frame and do nothing on it. I think it'll look cool with the texture. So let's just get into it. I'm just going to be using black paint. I think that's just going to look the best. So I'm going to start with the painting so we can let it dry and such. Let's start with the big guy. So we're going to be using canvas fabric on this one. I'm excited. I saw, I think it was Lone Fox Drew do something similar to this. I think it was. It was either Drew or Exo McKenna. I can't remember which one it was now. So we'll set the frame to the side and then I'm just going to be using this paper that I had in there as a stencil for cutting out the sides of the canvas. I saw that you can rip canvas, so we're going to attempt to do that. All you do is cut a little mark and then you should be able to tear it. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, this looks so good. Okay. That's fun. A little rough. I don't know if this is gonna end up looking good, but actually I might just cut it. I don't think I liked the ripped edge. That ripped edge would look super cool if you were just putting a piece of canvas on your wall. But I think since I want this to fit in my frame, I didn't really have to rip it. I could have cut it. And I think I'm just gonna like draw a square on this. Like, let's just go for it. I have this cute little tray. I feel like painting on canvas is actually pretty great because there's little lines and marks. So I'm not painting crooked. Ooh, this is definitely going through. Good thing I have this under. I feel like this doesn't look bad. It's definitely abstract, but I feel like it's kind of cute. All right, I literally think that's it. It looks a little funny, but I think once we get it in the frame, it'll look good. So like that it's a little spotty. There we go. There is our art. I love it. It's beautiful. Next, I'm just going to actually cut the two cutting ones out before I get paint everywhere. I should have done this before. Alright, I'm back after a minor break. Actually, a couple hour break. My battery died, so I let that charge up. And now, we are going to paint on this piece of cardstock. While you were away, while I was away, I actually put the fabric in this picture frame. It literally looks like a painting. It looks amazing. So... I'm thinking I'm just gonna paint some brush strokes on here and call it a day. Looks pretty fun. Oh, I kind of like it. There we have it, a nice abstract piece of art. And now we're on the last step of just putting the whole room together. I'm going to decorate, throw some blankets on my bed, position all of my furniture. So I'm very excited and we are coming to the end of this video. Tomorrow we are going to finish it up. All right, so it is looking like we are almost done with this huge room makeover. All we have left to do is move my furniture back in place, decorate, get some extra blankets on my bed, and I think we are done with this huge room makeover. It has been so much fun to do and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. If you have, please like this video. It shows me that you enjoy these types of videos and you want more. So I think it's time to do some decorating and then we will be back for the reveal.
Okay, so I think we are all complete with this bedroom. I'm obsessed with how it all turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and you found some pointers, some tips, some ways to decorate your room. This desk turned out amazing. It looks so great in my room. The rug looks beautiful. Everything is just like amazing. So I'm very excited to share it with you guys. So here is the reveal. please like this video and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments and also turn on post notifications so you can see other room decor videos that i do of lifestyle videos that i do everything that i do i upload every saturday but this year i'm doing vlogmas so make sure you guys subscribe so you can see a video every single day leading up to christmas so i'll see you guys december 1st bye Oh, mm -hmm.